What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for shirts and mail and mail? And your boy, Floyd. Hey, nerdlings. Chris, the old-ass retro gamer here, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Well, do you? That is right, it is Video Games Monthly Time, one of the best times of the month because it means that a lovely service, right here, sends you retro games straight to your door. You don't send them back, you don't rent them, you don't try them out, you keep those things, you put them on your shelf, you play them forever. And you don't have to go into a store and be around people and get games. Oh, the humanity! There he is, your boy Floyd. And he's got everything from Intellivision all the way up to the Wii U because that's how they roll at Video Games Monthly. So, we subscribe to the three games a month a box, but sometimes we get a little, uh... One up, two up, three up, a gazillion up. And something that Lady Lacey likes to do is to blindly hand these off I to do, me. I do. So here is the card they send every month, a little business card. You can win three free games, take a picture of what you get, share it on social media. This isn't the one up. <laughs> this is the card to remind you to update that list. You populate a list on their website and they won't send you any duplicates as long as you keep it updated. Bring! Ah, oh, the back of the day gamer killer! <laughs> <laughs> so, four awesome retro games this time. Here's around. our monthly prize. Oh. Something that's always fun with VGM is they like to put a little pack-in in there. And it's just like a little novelty thing, usually with their logo on there, and a bottle opener. Now this, this is fitting. And it's got a magnet, so it sticks to your fridge oh, or your nice. beer yeah. fridge or, you know, your cooler, oh. whatever. <laughs> I was going to say... I knew that doctor lied. There was no <laughs> point up there. So over at the VA, they had to replace it with a plastic one, and it ain't as strong. So... Oh my god, thank you, Kimmy! That was a horrible South impression. South Park? Uh-huh. All right. Oh, see, I was like, now I know that there were some on PS1, but I don't subscribe to the PS1. So, for the Nintendo 64, South Park, Chef's Love Shack. That was a pretty good chef impression. <laughs> Hello there, children. Oh, uh, you know, I don't I don't think I ever played this one. I played the other one that was like a... Uh, like a first person shooter and it had like a good multiplayer and you'd throw snowballs at each other. But I know nothing about Chef's Love Shack. I know nothing. Um, although it's making me a little nervous. I mean, is this like, uh, you know, the hot coffee mod, you know? <gasps> it is rated mature, but <laughs> that's fitting for South Park. Would you like some more tea, Polly Pussy Pants? Don't let this happen to you. To infinity and beyond! You're mocking me, aren't you? So, Toy Story. Mm-hmm. Oh, Super Nintendo. Nice. You know, I never played Toy Story, but I have seen a lot of people play it. And honestly, this is one of those games that it floors me how good it looks. Like, the graphics. It's like, that's 16-bit? Really? <laughs> really? Well, why do we need it in 64 if you can make it look this good? That will be fun to see if uh, I fly or fall with style. Well, we're keeping the Nintendo love alive here. Hey, I'm fine with that. And this is, uh, I don't know, I don't got an impression for that one. <laughs> <laughs> and this is g -g 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 I guess I could have done that. <laughs> oh my god, where are we? Omaha Beach, 1944. This is D-Day. What's that over there? Oh, that's double D-Day. Medal of Honor European Assault. We got this on the GameCube. All right, so it is not a GameCube box. I really don't care if the disc fits in there. It's safe. No manual, but you do have that nice cover on there. So you don't play, you volunteer. This is kind of cool. One to four player simultaneous. That's nice. Mm-hmm. So, the Medal of Honor games were always very impressive. Hey, remember back when uh, EA Games made the games that we wanted to play and didn't, like, just spend all their time pissing off all the gamers with <laughs> microtransactions and everything? But this will be neat to go back to 
Was EA the ones that did that challenge everything? EA games. Challenge everything. I played enough Sims games. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. You ready for your, oh. Is this, uh, is this Nintendo love going to continue? It does with continue, you? but it's from across Ooh. the pond. Oh, um, and, oh my gosh. I'm really hoping it's a it's, Famicom game. We haven't had a Famicom game in a while. It's not Famicom. Oh, Mother Hubbard. Watch your profanity. It's super, though. <laughs> and it's number six in the series. If it's a Super Famicom and it's number six, it's either Final Fantasy VI or Dragon Quest VI because I don't know any other games that got that far <laughs> in the line. <laughs> what am Dragon I the, the mother 16th. of? Dragons? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused. I was lost. <laughs> Dragon Quest 6. And I love that on the label art here, it's got that wonderful Akira Toriyama art. So if it, you saw this at the store, you're like, this is a Dragon Ball Z game? It looks like 90210 anime style. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's just like this eclectic group of kids just hanging out on the cover. <laughs> I don't speak Japanese, <laughs> but I am a longtime fan of Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior as it started here in the States. And I just love having the Japanese cartridges in the collection. Now, Dragon Quest VI initially never made it stateside. I don't think until either the DS or the 3DS. We did get the first four. They were all on NES, but I don't think over here we got any on Super. That's... And that's sad. But this is nice. Man, look at the Nintendo love here. Yeah, yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Especially the cartridges. Hey, I signed up for GameCube for a reason, but nothing beats getting cartridges. They're great. <laughs> now you're playing with power. Super power. Well. Here, Jen. Pop with me, Jen. Pop with me. Yeah. All right, nerdlings, this is the part where you leave some comments down below. Maybe you have a little more history with Chef's Love Shack than I did. Uh, some Toy Story or Dragon <laughs> Quest fans, or did you play the Medal of Honor games? I feel like this is the game that everyone was expecting Spielberg to start making when he jumped into video games. And then, boom blocks happened. <laughs> I feel like that's a very... Poor use of his talents. <laughs> Alright, so leave those comments down below. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there, ladies and gentlemen. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it, we Nintendo it because we totally Nintendo it now. And we Nintendo it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I sometimes say things I did in Nintendo. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Uh, I was, I was going to start singing I'll Be Ready, but that was Baywatch, right? Yeah. I don't know the 90210 song. <laughs> da 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 da. That's all I can remember. Something getting beat? Actually, yes.